What's up guys? Milan here with our first ever TikTok. Today we are in Cancun, Mexico at the JW Marriott and the Marriott. We're actually staying at the Marriott. They're joined together. We can just walk through and use the amenities of either place. So now that TikTok is offering 10 minute videos, I don't have to do it on YouTube anymore. We're gonna try doing this on TikTok and see if it does any better. I know, this looks pretty sick. Let's go to the actual pool. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, look, and there's a huge one over there. If there's a lazy river, I'm sold. All right, so I just like to drop some tips and tricks for different places that we go to. We are on country number 62. And that doesn't include like repeats. Like this is the, what, the 17th time in Mexico? I think with these kids we're on trip number five. Have you done 62? But back when I was a young buck, I used to travel a lot so more. Are you 62 or I 62? Uh, I'm on country number 62, but I don't, I don't count. Like if I go to Mexico like next week, I'm not gonna say I've been to 63, right? I'm still on 62, because this is a pretty sick pool. There's one back there, let's go down here. I'm trying to see which one's bigger. Which one? You think this one's bigger or the other Marriott? So if you like these type of videos, let me know. If you don't like them, let me know so I don't waste my time. But little things, like if you go to the currency exchange to exchange a $100 bill, you'll get a little bit of a better rate than if you exchange 20s or 50s, for example. But... Uh, now in 2022, I say don't even exchange any money at all because when you land at Cancun Airport, they have a money exchange place there. They have one in Vegas. They give you messed up rates like today's rate. The bank rate's like 21.54, but you'll get 17.50 if you go to a money exchange place. Should we go back now? Why would you want to go back? We're here to check out the pools, right? Oh, yeah, it's huge. Is there? I want to see if there's a lazy river. Okay, so let me give you an example. You land at Cancun Airport, you don't need to change any money at all. So don't get ripped off. I don't know why I did it at Puerto Vallarta a few months ago when we went on a cruise. I didn't spend any of it. And then I come back to Vegas and I change it out and I lost money on, on both flips. Even though I only changed like 100 or 200 bucks, but still, that's not the point. The point is it was pointless. So like when you leave the Cancun Airport, Everybody bombards you outside. Taxi, taxi, taxi. And they start with like $68. They show you this rate card. And from the airport to any hotel in the Cancun Hotel District, doesn't matter which one, and doesn't matter how long it takes to get here, if there's traffic or whatever, whatever. It's just a fixed price. So they start at $68 for a car, and then it goes up if you want a van. And I'm like, I don't care what size the vehicle is as long as we get here. And... So I'm like, $68, I make a face, and he's like, okay, okay, 50. And I'm like, come on, bro, 50 bucks? And then I was like, never mind, we'll go find our own thing, or I'll rent a car or something, and they'd start chasing you down, because there's so much competition. And he's like, okay, okay, how much you wanna pay? How much you wanna pay? I'm like, I don't wanna pay anything, I want free. I was like, no, 25 bucks, you gotta start somewhere. And then nobody will budge below 35. So if you're landing in Cancun, 35 is, I think, the rock bottom. Maybe you'd be able to squeeze 30, but you don't have to be that cheap. 35 is a pretty decent price for a half an hour ride to the hotel district. But please do not fall for that $68 price point. It's ridiculous. But back to my point, they do not want pesos. They want US dollars and they do not want cash. They want your credit card. So I was a little nervous about giving my credit card number because I don't know what they're gonna do with it. 99.9% .9 chance nothing will happen, but still, so I gave $35 cash. They want it up front also. And it's, it's legit. I mean, when they want credit cards, it's legit. So make sure when you're traveling that you get a credit card that has free foreign transaction fees. If you use a regular card, they're gonna charge you for every charge, uh, every transaction extra. You might get a shitty rate. So with my American Express Business Platinum, it's included. Like there's no foreign transaction fees. You get a really good bank rate. And that leads into the next topic, which is when you go out to dinner over here, we went to a really nice restaurant, and when you get the bill, they give you two different prices. They give you the price in pesos, and they give it to you in U.S. dollars. 
and you can choose if you want to put it on your card if you want pesos dollars cash card it's up to you right the best way to do it is to not take their u.s dollar rate take the peso rate charge it on your amex whatever card you have if, as long as you don't have uh, no foreign transaction fees so when you do the math on it i actually come out on top by about 10 or 15 percent so psychologically they got you thinking that it's better to use u.s dollars and you know put it on your card or cash or whatever but they give you their own conversion rate so it's better to just pay in uh, pesos because that's the price on the menu is in pesos pay in pesos let your Amer american express do the math because the bank rate i think today was 21.54 so i come out on top uh instead of doing like 17.50 or whatever it is but whatever the numbers were when we worked it out with the calculator basically the waiter's tip was was free by me paying in pesos and charging it on my amex rather than you doing us dollars a simple choice like that saved 15 percent. so i think the bill was around three thousand pesos and we we ate like kings and queens it was pretty cool and their service is like no other i mean if you drop a fork it takes less than three seconds for somebody to come and scoop it up yeah. the food was immaculate the service is immaculate Hey, what's the name of the place? I'm going to recommend that restaurant across the street. There's two of them next to each other. Two seafood places. Fred's. Fred's. Yeah, if you come to Cancun, make sure you go to this place called Fred's. Seafood and raw bar or something like that. They even have a kid's place where, like, you know how it takes forever when you order? It usually takes a, a good amount of time for the food to get to your table. So they have a place where your kids can go and play basketball or play video games or whatever. Kind of cool. So they don't get bored at the table. What was the other tip I was going to give him? I don't know. As we think of it, we'll hook it up. We got 10 minute videos here, so we're on seven minutes. Make sure you share, like, comment. Give me some constructive criticism. Like I said, I've been doing it on YouTube for a while. It's the first time we're doing it on, on TikTok like this. When it, was that, when it was like three minutes, you really can't do stuff like that. But with 10 minute videos, you can do a pretty decent vlog, huh? Oh, is it really? Yeah. Let me see. USD plus tax. Okay, I guess we're running into our next little... Pick any three. So. Little travel tip. So at the hotel we're at, which is right next door, connected, the Marriott. Look at that. So they have the same exact thing over there except for the price. It's 180 and you get... Options less options but Whatever. but the options that we want it's there we want skyrider wave runner and islam mujeres special combo three of these things for only 140 but you know what we gotta see if it's like 15 minutes for each one or yeah, half an hour time. hour so we'll check it out islam mujeres is uh the island i can I pay 10 bucks round there. trip and take a 45 minute speed boat there wave runner is about 50 60 bucks an hour and skyrider mm -hmm. looks pretty cool but What's if they give an hour then it's definitely worth it for What's each one I don't, did I say a hoverboard? Yeah, it says flyboard hoverboard. I don't know what that is, but Skyrider is like parasailing where you're up in the air and, and then Wave Runner is the jet ski and then Isla Maharis, you know, that's just a trip to that island which we can do for, I guess, 10 bucks a head round trip. Yeah, but don't pick Isla Maharis. Pick something that's a more expensive. Okay, for sure. Because we can do Isla Maharis ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know what was really expensive that's a waste of money? Sorry. Swimming with the dolphins at Isla Maharis. We did that last time. We're not going to do it this time. Is this a pool? But no. uh, unless you just have FU money, I think I paid two hundred and fifty dollars a person to go swim with dolphins for like fifteen minutes. And they're super strict. They don't let you take any pictures, video, none of that. I mean, I, it's a once in a lifetime thing. I'll never do it again. And it was it was a waste of money. But whatever. You can't take it with you, right? But now when you go back, you go to the opposite side of Islam Harris. It's a place called Mia Reef. M I A Reef. And especially if you have little kids, because they have like this big area blocked off by rocks. So you can go about a quarter mile out in the water and it won't come up past your waist. They have like the coolest looking tropical fish and you can see the bottom. Great place for little kids. Um, they have a little bridge you can drive over. And in Isla Mujeres, everybody drives golf carts. It's a cool experience. You should at least do a day trip. Last time we came, we stayed there two nights and we stayed in Cancun two nights. But... All right, guys, tell them to make sure they like, follow, share, and all that good stuff. We're coming up on 10 minutes. Like, follow, On comment. travel vlog number uno. 
in Cancun, Mexico. Good night.